Welcome back everybody. We are here today with the Bronco Sport and Stargazer's the name for her. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the new recovery gear that we are putting on her to make her more safe and help us get off the trail. Stay tuned. So welcome back everybody. Um, so today we are going to talk a little bit about the recovery gear that we have purchased for the Bronco Sport. Now this recovery gear um, will help us get off the road safely. The fifth uh, spare tire that is in the back of the uh, Bronco Sport, just not going to cut it. Um, I don't feel safe with it uh, trying to get to, from point A to point B if we ever did get stuck on the trail and because the tires on the um, trailer a uh, different bolt pattern which we were thinking about that but we might be adding some different spacers to this here because we did have to put spacers on the trailer to make it work properly so um that'll be something that we look into um now the bronco sport we did add um, a feature to the back of it to add a fifth tire to this a full-size tire with the matching rim so in the event we ever do get into a pickle um we can just swap that rim out real quick uh, swap the tire out real quick get back on the road and get to a safe area um, and then get the other tire repaired or replaced whatever happens to it so let's talk a little bit about this uh hitch gate that we purchased for the bronco sport so here she is this is the wilco high clearance hitch gate and the way it works is all it does is plug right into the hitch right down here has a wedge wedge clamp that basically wedges it in so that you don't get any play and for the most part works out good we got the matching ko2 tire for it and yeah, sorry for the mess uh, down there we were doing some raptor lining on one of the golf carts and we oops we we're doing some raptor lining down there and we made a mess so yeah it's kind of is what it is now, we did mount the jerry cans on the back. Um, these were the original jerry cans from the other. These were the original jerry cans on the trailer. Um, we did add some white ones here, which again, we are all, we're still working on a lot of stuff here. So like I said, the, the, the kitchen area is coming along great. Before you guys saw it, we kind of kind of had it together, had a whole bunch of wood and everything. I thought it looked like crap. Um, now we have the, the cabinet doors. Um, we are working on getting that all set up. Um, fridge slide. So let's, let's continue to talk about the Bronco Sport and the hitch gate from Wilco. So, uh, we are going to show you guys a video of us getting installed. Usually we don't do a lot of videos in the garage just because as you can hear the noise from the heater trying to keep up, uh, but it's snowing outside. Um, and we're trying to try to get some good shots for you guys and kind of stay warm a little bit today. So stay tuned. Okay, so look what showed up. Sorry, it's windy out, but here it is. Wilco Off-Road. That is for bronco over there and we are going to mount it up there this is for the fifth wheel spare tire it's a gate so that you can still make the uh, hatch function and use it so and then it's got a pass through for a hitch this is the high clearance model so let's take a look at it and start getting installed so this is so this is how it came as you can see got styrofoam everywhere i'll be reaching out to the company who we bought this from because this is just ridiculous like but yeah, the, this Instapack stuff, this should be basically surrounded with this plastic, this whole thing. And then you spray the Instapack around it and then it foams up and forms it. But somebody just did a crap job and just didn't care. So let's see what else is missing out of this. Everything's there. 
got the mounting hardware down there got the arm that goes on here that we have to bolt up and then the pin as well too so let's get this all actually i gotta take that off there real quick and then we gotta slide this in get that all bolted up the bottom part here then we're gonna put the arm on so okay so you guys understand a little bit here this piece here actually goes into the neck of the receiver. Must have hit some snow. There's a bolt down here. See down there? That bolt, once this goes all the way in, puts pressure on the back part of this hitch here and basically stabilizes this so it's not moving around. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this slid all the way in. Hopefully we should have no issues. Get that locked in and see how well she does. So it's just like that. We got that all slid in. Um, I don't feel it coming out the back though. So maybe we'll try to push back just a little bit further and see if it pops out the back. Okay, so pinned. You have to you have to tighten down the wedge lock in the back there first before you put the pin in. But as you can see, not going anywhere. Super tight. Now we are going to get that other piece mounted up here. And I was reading over the instructions. We got a couple more things that we got to add to that. We got this bracket here for the spare tire and whatnot, but yeah. Super simple, super easy. So if you guys are looking for a good fifth wheel spare tire addition, this is definitely the way you want to go because then you even get the pass through for your hitch. Plus we'll be also relocating our license plate to the back or to the side so that it's visible. So, sorry. So as you guys are putting this together, this piece here, as you see, this is the pin with the bushing. This is the swing arm that actually goes right here on the end. You're gonna see two of these bolt, or two of these washers, plastic ones. They go on here to help space this and give it the clearance it needs. Then you got the big bolt with the washers and the lock washer or the lock nut. Okay, so once you guys get this in, it's gonna be very hard to get this moved around with those washers in place. I'm finding that a screwdriver works really good try to get it super close and can't hold the camera and this at the same time so I'm gonna try to get this positioned as close as possible so we can get this bolt in which I think I got it nope just it's like right there okay Aside from moving you guys all around, as you can see, it's gonna be a tight fit too. So we need to, and just like that, we have the hitch installed. Pins in there, bolts in there. Don't over tighten it because if you over tighten it, it will not move at all. So kind of just use at your discretion as far as torque spidings. It expects it doesn't really say how much the torque is down, but. Yeah, we're gonna get everything all finished up, get it all put back together, and go get our wheel put on. Okay, so I hope you guys like that video. I hope you guys like the, the 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 Wilco hitch. Super easy to install, super helpful. It's gonna help us out a lot having this full size spare tire on the trail. Um, it works really good, opening, closing. We're gonna get some more video for you guys later on. Um, once it once we get out get it out of the garage, we still have a couple more things. Um, as you can see here, we put a couple tackle boxes. These are actual, actually ammo boxes that we have put up there. Sorry, trying out our new uh, Osmo and try to get better shots for you guys. But here we have recovery gear inside the, this one and this one here as well as some tools. And basically we bolted these directly to the rack here. So those are always here. They're waterproof. We can lock them up. This is gonna be a really good uh, option for us to basically take off-roading. Um, I'm looking forward to trying these out and see how well they work out. 
Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. These were super cheap. I think they were like $18 or $20, something like that. It wasn't very expensive. It didn't, won't break the bank. If you guys are looking for a good uh, waterproof recovery portion, if you guys are going to mount it outside, even if you're not going to mount it outside, these are good for inside the rig. Um, once we start doing the back part of the Bronco, which we're going to be doing the same thing with the T slot uh, 2020, whatever, it's, it, it's aluminum railing that's designed for making things. Uh, usually it's uh, made for 3D printers and whatnot. Um, but we are going to install some of the one of these into the back into a slide so we have more recovery gear and we can actually put a first aid kit and whatnot. We actually have a first aid kit already here in the front uh, driver's seat here. Um, but we're going to put another one so we have multiples in different locations and then label some of this stuff so that we have a little bit better idea where stuff's at and easy accessible if somebody ever gets hurt we can tell them where would they need to go and what to get so hope you guys like this video we got lots of more content still coming like we have the video getting ready to drop this week um uh, right after this one here we are installing the wheel spacers that we ordered, two inches, kind of push the wheels out a little bit, give it a more aggressive stance, and then we are still waiting on Amazon to ship our fender flares. Once we get those in, we're gonna get these swapped out and get the new ones put on. So, hope you guys like this video. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, share, like the video. That's how we are able to bring some of this content to you guys. See you guys out on the trails. And we have a couple of uh, adventures that we're gonna be going to. Um, we have in March, we have the E3 Overland Rally that we're gonna be going down there. If you guys are not familiar with it, I'll leave some information down below. Um, if you guys are looking for a good form or a good page to subscribe to, um, to get some content, and if you guys are first timers and wanna learn more about overlanding and even off-road or firearms, we, we're, we're part of the E3 Association where we're trying to help them uh, kind of build an audience and get, bring everybody to one place to be able to do stuff. So off-roading, overlanding, camping, uh, firearms, everything's right there. I'll put the links in the description down below, depending on which one you guys are interested in. If you guys are interested in all of them, sign up for all of them. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.